I am going to introduce our speaker now. So, Jalu Guan is a PhD nursing student from Zhejiang University in China. She is now an international visiting scholar in the midwifery division at the University of British Columbia. For the last six years, she has worked on projects related to perinatal mental health. Her master's project was about providing a psychological intervention for women who experience pregnancy termination for fetal abnormalities. Her doctoral project mainly focuses on constructing professional training for nurses and midwives to enhance their ability of providing perinatal bereavement care. She has published 16 SCI articles as the first author. Okay, I'm gonna give the presentation over now. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Jia Lu Qian. Uh, I'm very glad to have the opportunity to give this presentation. In today's presentation, uh, I would like to focus on experiences of prenatal bereavement of obstetric nurses and midwives receiving a prenatal bereavement mm -hmm. care training program, a qualitative study. Before I begin, uh, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Jia Lu Qian. Uh, I'm a PhD nursing student from Zhejiang University, China. I'm now a visiting scholar in the University of British Columbia. My research mainly focuses on prenatal bereavement care and midwifery education. Uh, I have published uh, relevant articles in this field. My presentation is divided into uh, the following four sections. Let me start with some general information on the introduction. Prenatal loss includes miscarriage, therapeutic abortion, stillbirth, or neonatal deaths. It occurs worldwide in 25% of known pregnancies. It can cause serious and long-term mental health problems in the bereaved parents. It is reported that the quality of care that bereaved parents receive from nurses and midwives has a major influence on parents' ability to cope with the loss. For parents, they often receive unsatisfactory care, feeling that the care they received did not meet their expectations. In an online survey, some parents uh, reported disrespect for care. For nurses and midwives, lacking uh, sufficient confidence and capability uh, bear and bearing a heavy emotional burden during provision of prenatal bereavement care were reported. Thus, the gap between parents' need for high-quality care and uh, healthcare professionals' uh, lack of prenatal bereavement care capa capability has become uh, increasingly prominent. In Chinese clinical practice, in ignoring women's needs and using disrespectful words uh, were the main reasons for interactive contradiction. Actually, relevant guidelines have addressed the necessity of conducting continuous training for healthcare professionals in the field of prenatal treatment care. In a scoping review, a series of uh, educational programs in the UK, USA, and Ireland uh, sought to prepare nurses and midwives to care for the bereaved parents. However, these programs uh, reviewed lacked a theoretical base and comprehensive training contents. System, uh, systematic and comprehensive prenatal Britman care has not been developed in China. Therefore, there was an urgency to establish and conduct the prenatal Britman care training program in China. The aim of our study was to understand uh, nursing and midwifery professionals' experiences uh, of the prenatal Britman care training program, PBCTP, after its implementation. Uh, now we come to the methods. This study was uh, uh, this study was used to record and uh, analyze obstetric nurses and midwives' experiences of the PBCTP. The PBCTP intervention was specific, specifically designed for nurses and midwives who provide prenatal treatment care to parents who experience a prenatal loss. It aimed to meet nursing and midwifery professionals' knowledge. 
uh, knowledge and skill gaps and emotional support needs. There are five modules in this program. Content was delivered via eight online theoretical courses, which were given every two days. Participants in our study have to submit a journal reflection after each online course to ensure their participation. In this figure, you can see some detailed information of the uh, detailed information of the intervention content. Five modules including introduction, general knowledge, practical skills, emotional support uh, for nurses and midwives, practices, uh, reflection, and learning were included. This study was conducted in a delivery room and seven obstetric wards in a tertiary maternal a maternity hospital between March and May 2022. The inclusion criteria were nurses or midwives who have provided prenatal treatment care and who have over one year of clinical experience. Uh, in this full diagram, you can see participants' inclusion. Uh, uh, there were 127 nurses and 44 midwives participated in this training, and then we interviewed 12 nurses and 4 midwives in total. Purposive sampling was used to include pa participants who submitted 8 reflective journal entries and gave detailed reflective comments in their journals instead of using a few simple words. Interviews were uh, conducted via telephone using a semi-structured interview guide and lasted about 30 to 15 minutes. The interviews were conducted in Mandarin. In data analysis, a six-stage semantic analysis was used. Uh, finally, we interviewed 12 hospital obstetric nurses and four midwives. In this table, you can see the themes and sub themes of our uh, study. I will not e uh, explain all the results in detail. Uh, I would like to focus on some interesting and important sub themes. Uh, theme one is about participants' aims of undertaking the training, needs for knowledge and skill enhancement, and providing high quality care uh, were the main reasons for their participation. Uh, the, lack of, uh, the lack of prenatal brain care ability made it difficult uh, to ob obtain trust and cooperation of the women, which hinders their work efficiency. Nurses and midwives also wanted to eliminate women's negative feelings by providing high quality, uh, emotionally sensitive care. Theme two is personal growth and practice changes after training. After the training, nurses and midwives started to care from various perspectives. They began to pay attention to various needs of the bereaved women, including emotional, spiritual, and other needs. And also they integrate the family uh, psychological needs into their care. Before the training, some nurses and midwives uh, thought women who experience a prenatal loss would have an easier birth than women who experience a full-term pregnancy with a full-grown baby. After the training, they realized the importance of pain management among this population. The third step seem is more effective communication. Nurses and midwives started their communication by giving detailed health education. Uh, a nurse said that I didn't dare to communicate with them before because I thought it would make them feel depressed. I left in a hurry after every word expression. Now when I see the brave the women and their families, I will tell them the following precautions for labor induction. I have received training and learned many courses, so I have certain knowledge reserve. I have the confidence and ability to communicate with them. Theme 3 is the most valuable training content. Respect for grief care uh, was a very important sub theme in uh, this part. Nursing and midwifery staff found the content about grief care very practical. 
Um, for example, provision of baby's footprint, dressing the baby, holding or seeing the baby. One midwife said that uh, I usually don't pay attention to how to name the baby. Maybe sometimes I just call the baby a small corpse. The mother might be very upset to hear that. After we learn the course materials, we would say the baby's name. I will also double check if the mother wants to see the baby. We will clean the baby when the mother needs to see her baby. Increased medical knowledge uh, was also proposed by nurses and midwives. Their basic education didn't prevent them for understand chromosomal uh, abnormalities or fatal formation defects. Uh, this course provided nurses and midwives with more knowledge about the causes of pregnancy loss. Mindfulness breathing in our study uh, uh, could help nurses and midwives to relieve their negative emotions in life. Uh, theme 4 is suggestions for training improvement. Some nurses and midwives suggested that uh, suggested to strengthen a course interaction. Uh, nurses and midwives thought that online courses in our study lacked communication and interaction between colleagues. They suggested that offline learning uh, would be better to improve the efficiency of the training. And also, prenatal loss is a solemn topic. Nursing and midwifery staff re reported that they do not communicate much about it. Uh, one nurse reported that the courses are recorded, which is one-sided. If these courses can be carried out while several live broadcasts, the effect would be better. For, exa for example, if I don't get any feedback on a certain question, there may be a knowledge point that I don't understand. Enriching clinical uh, courses is, uh, was also suggested by nurses and midwives. They hope to uh, uh, apply, they hope to apply uh, specific theoretical knowledge to clinical practice by learning clinical cases. Slowing the frequency uh, of courses was also suggested. Simplify directions for practice improvement. More appropriate content and form of prenatal breedment care was suggested. In the process of understanding women's breedment care needs, it is necessary to ask about women's needs uh, in a way that will not cause additional harm. Uniform service concerns would facilitate the uh, provision of consistent and supportive care. The last theme is influencing factors of practice optimization. Busy clinical work and environmental support from the hospital were considered as two main influencing factors of the practice. Uh, some nurses and midwives were intellectually and emotionally willing to provide high quality treatment care, but their own exhaustion um, weakened their ability to provide this kind of care. Environmental support from the hospital. Some nurses and midwives hope that uh, it would be better if the hospital could provide a private, uh, undisturbed uh, space for the prenatal equipment care. Because postpartum rooms may be, shared, may be shared rooms, there is no private room for the farewell ceremony at the hospital. The cries of other babies can also affect the mood of the breed women. In rooms shared by several women, the women often do not want to share their experiences with professionals. Now we come to the discussion. Uh, the findings that nursing and midwifery professionals perceive the personal growth and practice changes after training are uh, similar with other studies implement, uh, implementing this kind of training. This positive uh, feedback reflected the effectiveness of the training program. Uh, our training program was established based on a systematic scoping review and the exploration of Chinese prenatal Bremen care. It could enhance the evidence-based rigor of the program. 
Therefore, uh, in the future, wider application and testing of the training program should be conducted with larger sample and in diverse communities to verify its effectiveness. Uh, respect for grief care, increased medical knowledge and mindful breathing uh, were considered as the most valuable contents of our study. Uh, in China, actually it is a taboo to talk about death, so nurses and midwives were quite unfamiliar, or, uh, unfamiliar with providing respect for grief care. In our study, they found that uh, asking women's desire to see the baby after the delivery, calling a baby by name, and keeping baby's footprint in this training as practical treatment skills. Uh, in our study, nurses and midwives acknowledged the value of learning more medical knowledge related to pregnancy laws, uh, related to prenatal laws. It is similar with the uh, Findings in previous study, nurses and midwives recommended training related to physical care issues and knowledge of genetics. Uh, for mindfulness breathing, actually, it has been widely used for uh, relieving healthcare professionals' traumatic psychological symptoms. And in our study, uh, nurses and midwives also found it, it, it was helpful to relieve negative emotions. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, our intervention was implemented via online lectures. It reduced the, uh, it reduced the course interactions to some extent. Uh, in previous studies, face-to-face -face meetings, in-class interaction, offline workshops and debriefing case presentations were suggested to improve the efficiency of the training program. A more appropriate content and form of prenatal breathing care was suggested. The key to providing prenatal breathing care is to respect women's preference. Therefore, hospitals could uh, develop tools such as a list of breathing care services so that nurses and midwives could better understand women's uh, breathing care needs in a way of avoiding awkwardness. Busy clinical work and environmental support from the hospital were considered factors that limited practice optimization. The improvement of treatment care involves the contribution of individuals, teams, institutions, and systems. Hence, uh, hospital managers should optimize human resource allocation and create the necessary conditions to enable the implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of the best practice prenatal treatment care. There are some strengths and limitations of our study. The methodology of this study was rigorous. This is the first implementation of PBCTP in China, and the results were helpful to provide enlightenment about the future training for healthcare providers in prenatal treatment practice. There are also some limitations of our study. First, the number of participants represent, uh, represent was more. We included nurses and midwives who were expressive in their reflective journals. This purposive sampling may have generated favorable bias interview responses. Secondly, we didn't obtain experiences from briefed families after the training. Any improvement in the prenatal treatment care is recognized only from the perspectives of the nursing and midwifery professionals. Last but not least, uh, the PBCTP was only implemented uh, in uh, a single hospital and transferability of the findings to other health systems is unknown. Now I'd like to move on to the conclusion. The PBCPT was described by nurses and midwives as satisfying their training needs and supporting their professional enhancement. It facilitated uh, personal growth and uh, provide changes in providing prenatal treatment care. This intervention should be optimized based on suggestions from nurses and midwives for wider dissemination and application to verify its effectiveness. 
more efforts from hospitals, uh, managers, obstetric nurses, and midwives are needed to form a uniform care pathway and promote prenatal uh, treatment care practice. Here are uh, some references of our studies. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Uh, thanks for your listening. Uh, and now if you have any questions, I'm very pleased to answer. Thank you. Okay, does anyone have um, any questions right off? Well, I have a question. Um, this study aimed to understand nursing and midwifery um, experiences with the perinatal bereavement care training program after its implementation. Um, can you tell me more about the details about the actual training program and how that was implemented? Okay, thank you very much for, for your question. Uh, I will move to the uh, one slide. In, actually, in this figure, you can see some uh, detailed information of the program. Uh, actually, this part has already been published uh, in BMJ Open. You can check the uh, reference list for more details of the uh, contents. In uh, five modules of our uh, training program, the most important modules are general knowledge, practical skills, emotional support for nurses and midwives. Uh, in the beginning, nurses and midwives have to learn the uh, meaning and objectives of the training in the introduction module. And then uh, in the general knowledge module, they have to learn something about clinical guidelines, law and ethics, psycho uh, psychological characteristic, uh, characteristics of the pregnant parents. And then communication skills, psychological support strat uh, strategies uh, were delivered to nurses and midwives in practical skills module. Uh, these skills are very useful in clinical practice. Uh, then emotional su uh, support for nurses and mi midwives module, they have to learn some relaxation techniques, uh, for example, mindfulness training. Uh, so that it can help them to manage manage them uh, manage their negative emotions. Uh, the last ma uh, module is practices reflection and learning. Um, we will encourage them to organize group workshop and practical uh, reflection conference to promote uh, experience sharing and communication. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to know more details, you can check the uh, reference for number 18 to know more details. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, we do have some questions here in the chat. So um, Seal Javit says, interesting work. Your work in China is at a civil similar stage to where we were in the early I think you mean 1980s seal. Do you have plans to upscale this program and to spread it? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the reason why our work in China is similar uh, stage to uh, the uh, early 1980s. Uh, here is because um, the culture is very different in China. In China, people uh, are not willing to talk more uh, much more about death. So, uh, few medical staff will uh, pay attention to the care for this population before. But now we are uh, with, uh, there are more and more research in this field. Mm. And uh, the implement uh, the implementation of the training program uh, is the first step uh, in my research. And I, we are now in China apply for uh, some grant to support us to spread this training program to other hospitals uh, and uh, and for wider implementation of the training program. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's uh, more questions coming in. So the next one is Susanna asks, what are the steps moving forward from the results of your study? And are you considering obtaining information from service users? 
Yeah, uh, from my uh, from my results, uh, uh, I uh, in this study I only obtained some uh, uh, feedback from the nurses and midwives from uh, after their training, um, and in the future, I will uh, also collect some uh, information from the nurse uh, from the pregnant parents about their experiences of the. Uh, Bremen care. Um, actually, in our hospital, we are now uh, uh, changing some uh, principles of care of, of Bremen care, and uh, I'm now collecting some uh, information from the uh, Bremen parents about their uh, satisfaction satisfaction of the Bremen care and their uh, psychological outcomes, and then compare the outcome with uh, previous uh, uh, previous data I collected before uh, to see if there are any improvement after the training in the practice. Yeah, I will collect more information from the Bremen parents to verify the effectiveness of the program. Okay. Um, Anita says, thanks for the nice presentation. How long was the training and how can you ensure that they practice what they were taught? Uh, thank you for your uh, question. Uh, we have uh, about eight theoretical courses, uh, and these courses were delivered every two days. So the training is about uh, 16, uh, 16 days um, through uh, online lectures. Uh, actually, we, uh, this the main aim of the training is to improve their uh, confidence to provide this kind of care. and. Uh, Actually, I, I can't uh, ensure they practice what uh, what we want to practice because uh, the first step is to improve their knowledge and skills. But uh, how can I help them to implement um, the their practice? Uh, in uh, how to implement their uh, practice? We still need more efforts from the managers and hospitals. So that's we that's what we need to do in the future. Okay, um, Susanna um, has another comment. She says, as an Asian descendant, I know that the death of a baby is seen as a guilt and shame for families. I wonder how do you think you can attract participants? Uh, actually, in this study, we uh, our participants is nurses and midwives, but I also do some research about the Britain parents. Uh, in the beginning, I also thought that uh, it is it may be difficult to include uh, the Britain parents because they may feel very, uh, sh it's a shame to talk about the baby's death, but actually uh, this kind of part, uh, uh, this kind of population uh, is very willing to share their experience because they are very sad. They want to uh, share their experience with the professionals for help uh, and to relieve their negative emotions. So uh, it is not very difficult to uh, attract these participants because they are very, um, they, uh, they have a great demand for uh, seeking uh, psychological support and uh, professional support from, uh, from the medical staff, yeah. Um, Taramati says, very good presentation. Do you think that the study group were a good number? Actually, we in our hospital, we have uh, uh, one delivery room and uh, seven uh, obstetric wards. And uh, after, communicate, uh, after com uh, communicating with the leader in these wards, uh, we have uh, tried to include uh, as many as uh, participants in our study. So in our hospital, the majority uh, of nurses and midwives all participated in our uh, study. So I, I think uh, it's a good number for a single hospital. Yeah. But if you, uh, if I want to uh, uh, 
uh, spread the training program in China, I think it's still not enough. Yeah, maybe in the future, more hosp uh, we can establish uh, cooperation with more hospitals to spread the uh, training program and hope that more uh, staff, uh, more nurses and midwives can participate in this training. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions before we start to wrap up here? All right. And here's Jalu's um, contact information.